Matt Gates passionately argues that the left's relentless assault on the nation is unmistakable. The left is engaged in unrestrained warfare against our country. And it's a biological warfare with what they've tried to do and forcing us to take all these vaccines and ruining people's lives as a consequence. It's legal warfare. It's warfare where they're trying to purge our military of the good patriots who don't want to stand up for critical race theory and go to 12 hours of pronoun training. And we are too restrained in our response. That is the problem. We believe that if we play within the sandbox, that, that the virtue of that will be some sort of, of uh, guiding light for us. And the reality is that virtue has, has left us observing the greatest nation on the planet Earth slip into a grave state of decline. And I've been to third world countries. I've seen where they lock up their political leaders and they allow grandmothers to get robbed in broad daylight in their cities. And that should not be the present state of the United States of America. But it is because they don't love our country the way we do. And I wish they did. I take no joy in that. I don't use it as a political cudgel. But they think that America would be a better place if we were weaker, that the world would be a better place if America was not so strong. And so we have to be that strength. And we look to our elected leaders and we hope they inspire that strength. But Eli and I too often see folks engaging in the comfort of just the, the, the normal slip uh, into, into the parlance of, of that corrupt place. And that's why we like getting out of there with the people of this country who actually deserve strong, bold, visionary leadership. He vehemently criticizes mandatory vaccine policies, critical race theory, and other issues that he believes erode traditional values and individual freedoms. Guyot staunchly supports the idea that strong, bold, and visionary leadership is paramount in defending our country from both internal and external threats. He champions the principles of individual responsibility and genuine action, urging leaders to act with sincerity and courage to uphold national values. Gates's call for strong leadership resonates as a plea for authenticity and bravery in defending the country. His belief that individuals should take responsibility for their beliefs and actions rather than conforming to a corrupt political system, strikes a powerful chord. Gates's rhetoric profoundly impacts the collective spirit of the public, framing the actions of the left as warfare, which heightens a sense of urgency and calls his supporters to action. One must consider how these narratives interact with fears and anxieties about the country's future, driving individuals to seek and support strong, decisive leaders.